Python on hardware. It'd be interesting. Okay, this week, Lady Ada, um, we have the new, I guess, announcement. Of, this is the Ada, well, this is fresh. This is like hot off the press. Hot off the press. Yeah. So what is this? What's going on? Okay. Um, so uh, CircuitPython, sorry, MicroPython just released, it's like 1.20. Um, 119 was what CircuitPython, I think, was caught up to. Um, so the big changes, it looks like, is there's a new micro package manager, which is actually pretty neat. So... In MicroPython, you can install, if you have a Wi-Fi capable MicroPython chip, like the ESP32 or the Pico W, um, you can use it to like download packages like from within the microcontroller. You don't have to like drag and drop files because especially for the Pico W and for the ESP32 and 8266, there is no um, native USB. So it's very hard to drag and drop files. So this is a way to like download them um, over the interweb. So you can connect over here and click. Yeah. Okay, and then I can scroll. Yeah. Um, there's also a bunch of, there's a lot of updates to the internal core, Pico W support, um, a lot of, like, it looks like a lot of bug fixes. I mean, I, I kind of read the beginning of this. Um, looks like there's more uh, MIMXRT. So that's the um, RT10 and 11XX series uh, used in the Teen C4 and also in our um, Metro uh, IMX board. Um, I think also they're working on, wow, there's a lot of updates. Um, STM32 support now has the Arduino Giga H7, which is that new Arduino board. SAMD port now has more hardware support. So yeah, like a lot of stuff came in and uh, looks like JavaScript and Zephyr got updated. And I think they're working on Bluetooth low energy support for the Pico W as well. So this is this is pretty cool. So the core changes, not the ports changes, but the core changes will be integrated into CircuitPython probably in the next couple of months. We try to keep in pace um, so that when we make fixes, we can submit them upstream, which is very handy. Um, so look forward to trying that. I mean, I'm also kind of excited to see as we're adding ports like um, IMXRT or they're adding ports that we support SAMD, um, there'll be maybe more uh, cohesion in um, the API interfaces and we'll be able to Share code back and forth, especially with the SAMD port, because we did the peripherals pull apart. Um, don't know if they're using it, but they should. Okay. And then um, other bits of news, if you check out the um, newsletter this week, um, PyCon in U.S. right now, it's happening. So, yeah, like today. So Salt Lake City, Utah. Katni is there. Jepler's there. And they also announced da, 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 where it's going to be for the next couple of years. So Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, maybe we can actually go to one. Um, but you can check out uh, what Katni's up to. Sprints are going on April 24th. That's, you know, yesterday, all the way up till today. And then you can check out the Discord channel with uh, CircuitPython dev if you want. And then we posted up a bunch of videos. I had time yesterday to get some of the uh, Feather DVI stuff. You can see yes. what Lady Ada was working on. We have this turtle demo um, and just a whole bunch it of stuff going on. It also works with uh, the DVI Pico, which is coming soon. I think you posted the video. It works with the Pico... W, so you can do Wi-Fi and HDMI monitor output at the same time, which is super neat. Yep. All that is available on, you guessed it, readitproofdaily.com. We deliver this newsletter every week. So get there. We don't spam. We don't do anything with your email addresses. It's a completely separate site just to prove how serious business we are about privacy and more. Okay. 